count off. Whoa, okay, yeah, he's freaky strong. This won't go like last time. I certainly hope that it won't. What do you mean? Do you think it's coincidence that you've encountered Hellion's domains at every turn? So what? This was all you're doing? Is that what you want to say? Is this your idea of being merciful? You know, he used to be a general. There's no telling what he's really plotting. Is he trying to negotiate? Be on your guard, Saray. Yeah, he's capable of anything. How a man who once grieved over the loss of his family could change so completely. It's spooky. Time flows differently for a man who lives in loneliness and sorrow. <laughs> so, how are we supposed to find out if this guy really did bind with Mautelis? We'll just have to fight him head on. You got a death wish? If not that, then what? Tell me something, Heldolf. Are you? <laughs> What's so damn funny? You talk far too much. <sighs> I am the Lord of Calamity, and thou art the Shepherd. The meeting of the two is, by definition, conflict. Do you not agree? Yeah! Saray! Here he comes, everyone! Uh. Fuck. Fuck and fuck. Um. Go on. Show me what a vessel you are. I won't be pushed over that easily. Ah, shit, I missed it. Come on. There we go. Shit. Shit. Upsy Daisy. Upsie daisy! <laughs> We're definitely outclassed, but we got this. <sighs> Upsie daisy! Oh shit! <laughs> Missed him again. <laughs> Come here! <laughs> Fuck me! Fine. And you'll strike me down. Can't you feel it? Is that not what you truly wish inside? What? What are you saying? You yearn for it. You crave it. <laughs> Would you drown in this fountain of ecstasy you have created? Lila! It's time to settle this! What's wrong? Saray, if you finish this here, can you be absolutely sure you will not regret it later? That's right. Did we really come all this way just to snap old Kitty Beard around? Or was there something else? As you know, to quell the Lord of Calamity is the duty of the Shepherd. That is not incorrect. Is he challenging us? Do it if we can? No. The bastard's up to something. Simone! Yes. Dispose of them. An illusory art! Look out, everyone! You're too late! My 
my, my. You're finally putting some effort into it. How long do you think your malevolence can isolate him? For one of his strength, probably only about ten minutes. I apologize. Hmm. It will do. What have you done, Heldolf? Get ready! Hold on. Did I have the option to run earlier? Okay, well this just got interesting. Um... I think it was... this. Don't tell me the tables have turned. You underestimated me. I will smite evil. Victory was close, yet now only anxiety and impending doom. Saray, don't let your emotions waver. He's Lila. Still, you interfere. That Miss Mioma! <laughs> Lila, Heldolf is trying to manipulate me while I'm still missing the full picture. Is that what you're trying to say? At this rate, he's just going to keep needling me. I'm a plaything to him! Saray, I understand! You've got to help every- You're not getting away! I still feel like I had the option to run, and I'm being really stupid right now. He's getting stronger. We just have to find a weak point. Try this on. Let's knock him back with a hit mark. Oh shit. I will smite evil. Try this on. Try this on. Freeze and crush him. Miss Miyama. Blood moon. Multi blood. An unknown type of talent. Appear, flames! Calamity Flare! Appear, flames! Calamity Flare! Appear, flames! Calamity Flare! Just a little fight evil! Try this on! This isn't over! Fuck, he actually put me down. That sucks. Saray! Not resist. No, I will never give up. Do you not realize how warped it is to struggle so? <laughs> what? Simone, release the squire at once. Ow! What on? Prepare to see just what your resistance has earned, you shepherd. No. And that was his fatal mistake, wasn't it, Lila? <sighs> Beth Miss Mioma! Plan to slay her. A seraph. Killing is my business. Or did you forget? Simone. Very well, as you wish. What? Rose!
<laughs> what in the ever living fuck is going Toying on? With you has lost its charm. Shepherd Saray, work under me. Should we not bring this world back to the way it was, together? What? Walking a path alongside the Lord of Calamity can only lead to malevolence. Surely you- And what is so strange about that? Malevolence will always be with us. It can only be dispelled by the scant few who hold the power of purification. Are you saying that's the way things should be? Hellions only bring pain! To humans and seraphim alike! And so it is therefore natural to resist malevolence? Absurd. Those who resist malevolence, and those who embrace it. Who do you think suffers more? The answer should be right in front of you by now. Heldolf! Just because he can't stand the heartache of living, he thinks everyone else is the same way. Shepherd Saray, I repeat once more, join me. For too long have the Seraphim been forced to fight the Malevolence. Too long have they been chained, toiling away at their blessings. Let us restore them to their rightful form as Hellions. I refuse. Then let us finish our battle once and for all. I refuse that as well. This is not the time. So you say. But one day, you will discover it for yourself. The true nature of humans and seraphim in this world. No mistake. That bearded menace is connected to Maltellus. When we were trapped by his malevolence, I felt a presence. But there wasn't even a trace of Maltellus back then. Think about it. What if you were convinced you couldn't see something, but it was right under your nose? It's something we see all the time and yet never notice. This? The ground? You mean the Hellion could be using the continent of Glenwood itself as a vessel? Right. There's only one guy out there who'd be capable of pulling it off. But if that's the case... Even if all this is true, is it possible to purify the land itself? If Heldalf were the vessel, it would make a lot more sense. But if the Earth is the vessel, why would Maltellus also be connected to Heldalf? Let's find Maltellus. If it's true that Heldalf is connected to Maltellus, who's become a Hellion using the Earth as a vessel, then so long as we don't purify Maltellus, we'll never be able to quell Heldalf. But even with all the legends of Maltellus we've collected, there hasn't been a single clue as to his whereabouts. We should search for Maven. Old Man Maven? That's right. He was journeying to study the legends surrounding Maltellus as well. We don't have a clue, but he just might. Yeah, but how are we supposed to find him? I have an inkling. Let's go meet with the ones who protect the ruin of Logren and see what they think. Then it's been decided. Let's get packing, Mebo. All right, all right. Just stop that. Hey, are you okay with this? I trust him. Though, it is a gamble. I really wanted to see what would happen if I actually beat him. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. Oof. Alright, um, I want to find my notes again, so I can start updating shit. I think that's all of them.
And honestly, more than that, I think we've found every area in the game for the most part. Unless there's another continent I don't know about, but... I mean, there is an entire dark area over there to the right. Eh, I don't know. Save point travel? <clears throat> so that's Pratapana. That one, I don't know. Western Bolt Gorge is... Ma... Maharara. Maharara? What the fuck? <laughs> so let's go find the name of this one. And the one over in... The Moor. Uh... Oh. Huh. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna write Crucible then. Okay. Alright, we're good to go. We are good. I'm not gonna mess with any right now, but... I just want to mark that they exist. So I'm just going to travel to Logren. Or not. Stop by, uh, I guess, the South Oasis? I don't know. Oh. <clears throat> News. Motherfucker. I think... I think I found all of them. Three, four, five. I mean, I have six of them, so I assume that's it. What did Lila mean? Oh, Logren. Except for her puns. Ah, the clippy sky. Um, yeah, no. I'm not walking all that. Thank you. No. Fuck no. Um. What's in the area that's closer? I think Trisaldi's right up here, so yeah. Yeah, fuck it. We can't afford Oh, well, that's convenient. Oh look, we're all alone. I was clearly the star of that battle. It's easiest to notice the dimmer stars when they shine. <laughs> Alright, let's actually just get our move. Get our ass in gear, get a move on. All that shit. Yep. I don't think I'm going to go much longer, because we're already at about 60 gigs, but... 
I think we're just gonna grab this objective and then leave. This area is really fucking long. Like, I know I used to talk about how much I liked it, but... It is really, really fucking big. <laughs> Holy shit, give me an elephant. Don't under I can't believe there's a heli in this big. It's colossal size alone is a threat. Watch yourself. Oh well shit, that's awkward. Hang on. I got this. So so Everyone okay? Awesome. All right. Let's get on with our life. Get on with our lives. What's up, bitches? <laughs> oh, hey, Mavy Maven. Maven! Old man! Hey there, Saray. Young lady. You look well. Glad we found you. Have you learned anything about Maltellus? Right down to brass tacks, I see. Nothing much, I'm afraid. Listen, Maven. I do understand this infringes on the taboo. But Saray is the only shepherd we have right now. Please. I ask you to lend him your power, so that he may walk his path without regrets. Maven... You can really hear them? Huh? What are you talking about? Storyteller, we need you. I see. So this man is the current Storyteller of Time. Storyteller? <sighs> you must really be in a bind this time, huh? I won't say we aren't. I shall lend you my power. But you do know what that means, don't you? Yes. You're a scary one, lass. Well, I'm lost. Seriously. Lila. Maven. Can someone please explain what's going on? Now, hang on a minute. Do you understand how momentous of a decision you're presenting me with here? Wait a minute. Is this the taboo Lila mentioned earlier? That's correct. But as an explorer, I'll give you a bit of advice. If it doesn't all add up, the sensible conclusion is that you're missing a piece somewhere. Also, relics are not only to be found in ruins. Remember that. Are you talking about the Earth and Historia? It's true, we only got bits and chunks out of those. What is it you know? For now, just search and trust your hunches. Everything else starts from there. <sighs> you never could give a straight answer. I'll be sticking around here. Come back once you're satisfied in your search. Got it. We'll be back. Thanks a lot, old man. Um, okay. I guess let's... Search around, we've got some extra quests going on. Did you hear about the woman they called the saint who went out to Blitzerback Wetlands? Seldom Zep got to find... or to found a village? I think she must really be a saint traveling all the way back to... All the way to the back of beyond like that. That or something else. A holy woman, huh? Terrifying. 
terrifying. Why? A chaste young shepherd boy wouldn't understand, would he? I... I guess not. A nun. I don't know. I'm just thinking of random shit. Okay, well, I guess I'll talk to Rose. Hold up. Come here. Sure would be nice if we could just buy the iris gems. Oh, wait, seriously? Okay. Holy shit. Alright, let's go to Pendrago for some iris gems. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, hold up. The storyteller of time. The storyteller of time, huh? Hmm? You knew about Maven too? Well, you know, he just seemed like a storyteller to me. When I confronted him about it, it turned out my hunch was correct. That's all. He's pretty well known as a storyteller, especially among Seraphim who have been around for a while. You could have told us about it, you know. Well, it's also a taboo. For both Seraphim and humans. Uh, but what does that entail? Let's focus on collecting the Earth in Historia, Miklio. Just hearing those stories probably isn't enough. So when you see with your own eyes, you can figure out the truth behind the myth, huh? That's what it's about. Isn't that right? Alright, off to Pendrago. Well, oh, seriously? I wish I would have known it does that. I wish I would have known that it did that. Jeez. Would have made my life so much easier. Okay, so, a saint. Me. A holy woman setting up a village. Way out in Plitzerback Wetland, no less. Something about that gives me the heebie-jeebies. Maybe we ought to check it out. I know what village it is, and I don't really want to check it out. Okay. Elephant. Slaughter those kids. Nope. Sergei and his men sure are vigilant. They better be. Sergei and his team aren't just a gang of sword-waving thugs. They're major players in Imperial politics. Even as they ensure the capital's security. Speaking of which, they should be doing exercises right about now. Why not pay them a visit? Uh... They'll be last. Shit, I forgot what else we were looking for. So we've got the village in Plitzerback. We've got... Um, hold on, I'll actually mark that. Rodine, that was it. So I assume it's going to basically tell us to go check out Abandoned Rodin. Uh, I'm going to assume they're going to be near Ganglin. Because that just makes sense to me. Actually, wait, no, I should have gone to... Fuck. Yeah, hold up, actually. I should go to Pendrago first. And even before that... I'm running to the washer. All right, I'm back. So, now what? We just go to the fucking weapon shop. No, we go to the sparrow feathers. I wonder how it is he gets his hands on them, though. Where on earth does he find them in territory as remote as that? I think Zad, the jewelry merchant, trades in iris gems. He made off towards the western, western, fuck, western bolt gorge, but I haven't heard anything of him since. A jeweler who handles iris gems, huh? Let's head for western bolt gorge. All right. He's probably a hellion. Why is that bolded? Also, I need to save. Because that would be a good idea. Yas. Yas, bitch. Yas. Fuck you. Yeah. He's up 15? Holy shit. What do you get for 15?
The drop rate for items equipped by opponents you defeat decreases. Or increases. What? Ah, whatever. God damn it. Okay, wait. There's more? I guess maybe there's someone in the back? I don't know. Yep. Oh shit. What's up with you? There has been a spate of murders in the last few days, and the relatives are in uproar. All the victims are poor folk, and now the country is facing a period of instability. People just won't stand for it. They know all the killings happened after dark, but beyond that, they don't have any leads. If I was you, I'd avoid being out at night. You just never know what's going to happen, you know? Another fucking howling season? Another fucking howling season. What is the Night Squad thinking? Ten people have been killed already, and they haven't a single clue. Please calm yourselves. We are doing our best to find the culprit. But that means nothing if you can't catch him! There's a murderer on the loose! I understand your concern, but please believe us. I swear on my honor to find the culprit. Huh. Rumor has it you have your eyes on a different kind of honor. Isn't that right, Captain? Starting to butt into politics more, aren't you? So that's what this is about. Of course, political power is more important to you than citizens' lives! No, I would never do such a thing. Everyone, the affair with Cardinal Fortin is still under investigation, and the Knights are shorthanded as a consequence. These knights are only human, too. Please, don't judge them so harshly. Thank you so much for your kind words, Father Amathor. Humans are weak, and we must all acknowledge that evil lies in the people's hearts, especially those who allow themselves to fall to their own arrogance. Indeed. We are weak creatures, but that is all the more reason for me to work harder. As expected of Captain Sergei, salvation shall come your way when you are in need. I do apologize, but such is the situation. I must go join the search squad. I wonder, could Hellions be behind all these murders? Let's check it out. Yep, it's literally fucking Howling Season the Second. God damn it. All to hell. He hello? Well, we know that the burglaries always happen at night, but what I don't understand is why they haven't found a single clue yet. Sounds like this Hellion is nocturnal. Let's wait until nightfall. Something just doesn't feel right. What is it? How should I know? It's just a gut feeling. Fucking Howling Season 2.0. I don't want to deal with this. You think night's the best time to catch the murderer? Yeah, probably. They always had it. Or, they always strike at night, so I doubt they'll tip their hand until then. Let's just take a break in our favorite pin Drago in. We can prowl around a bit once the sun's gone down. Oh, I hate my life. Still gotta find that fucking key, too.
Is there another purple star that I'm not seeing? Hold up, let me head up top. Now go into the church too, I guess. Nothing up here. Is that herb growing back? Nope. To the church. So then maybe in the Knight's Tower there's something? Is this nature's idea of a joke? No, this is nature's idea of uh, being natural. Now some bitch isn't fucking controlling it. I guess let's check in here. Not a... Not a... Oh, there's this entire other side of town that I forgot about. <laughs> Whoops. And there's also nothing here. Okay. Bark. Wolf. Nothing, 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 something. Zod has returned from Western Bowl. Western. Fuck me. I say he's a fool to be looking for iris gems. If you keep your head down, there's money to be made from honest hard work. So I take it we're going to search for fucking General Zod. Okay, that's gotta be it. That's. There's no other places in the area. God damn it. Fuck, I don't know. Let me save and then rest and we'll see what's going on with this whole fucking murderer thing. Dun, 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 dun. 